It's not often that a company creates the perfect product, but ever since the nerf rival Percy's was leaked 7 months ago, I was convinced that this would be the pinnacle of foam firing technology. This year is the nerf rival Percy's time to steal the spotlight, combining the best of both the 2017 Nemesis and the 2018 Prometheus to become the ultimate hopper fed nerf blaster. After finally getting my hands on one, I believe this toy is one for the history books. I think it's the best blaster of the year, I think it's one of the best blasters ever made. In this video, I'll be giving you 5 reasons why this blaster is so freaking good and 5 nagging issues that make the rival Percy's an almost perfect blaster. Let's start with number 1, Design. The engineers on the nerf team made sure the Percy's would have an intimidating and beefy build without all the bulk. Whether you buy the blue or red version, the colors have great synergy. And like most rival blasters, this one manages to fuse rigid lines with contouring around the stock, handle, and foregrip for maximum comfort. The little details are nice, such as the grip texture on the stock, sling points, a jam door, and a tiny tactical rail. Its streamlined and lightweight design doesn't bog you down with unnecessary dead space and ensures that it's perfect for on-the-go foam combat. This blaster's name is based off the titan god in Greek mythology. Take a guess of what Perseus represents and stick around to find out the answer later on in this video. Number 2. Drop and Roll This high capacity 50 round hopper makes up a good chunk of the genius behind the Perseus. The hopper door is a breeze to open and gives access to the entire space allowing you to drop in rounds extremely quickly. One handed loading made easy. If need be, you can eject the entire hopper out of the blaster which gives potential to three things. First, it might make reloading the hopper easier. Second, it gives you access to the internals to help you clear out any jams. And third, it's possible to carry multiple hoppers on your person. I love how Nerf even adds a sling point to it as if they're encouraging that. Nerf, you gotta sell these hoppers separately. Number 3. Juice one of the most annoying things about motorized blasters is always spending money to replace drain batteries. I liked how Nerf created a rechargeable battery sold separately for the Nemesis and I love how they're doing it again for the Percy's, but better. This time, the Percy's has a proprietary rechargeable 1500mAh battery, but it's included with the cost of the blaster. It's very simple to juice up with the included charger and even simpler to take out and put in the blaster. No screwdriver required. It's almost as easy as clicking the subscribe button for more Nerf content. The battery sits in the foregrip to make it perfectly balanced, as all things should be. Number 4. Untamed Performance If you got an itchy trigger finger, this blaster doesn't do much from curbing that urge to empty out the hopper in seconds. And yes, I said seconds. The Percy's is fully automatic and has the same insane rate of fire as the Prometheus. 8 rounds per second. You can shell out a large chunk of your ammunition without breaking a sweat. The rounds don't just hit fast, they hit heavy as well. My buddy Faraz had the honor of being a live target during my first use of the Percy's. What he didn't tell me before he fired at me is that he has a superhuman pain threshold and I do not. Getting shot 7 feet away hurts like a mother- <laughs> You think it was easy for me to hold a straight face through that? From my testing, the Percy's is definitely hitting velocities of at least 90 feet per second. I don't have a chronograph so I can't give exact numbers, but it was cool to see that the Percy's was shooting harder than the 2017 Nemesis, the very first Nerf Hopper Blaster. The Percy's is quite accurate and precise compared to other blasters. No wild stray shots. Most rounds travel straight for a good distance before revealing a slight topspin that carries them upwards. At least this motion is predictable and allows you to compensate when aiming. So far I've fired hundreds of rounds and haven't experienced a single jam, so add that to the list of pros. This all combines to give the Percy's deadly raw performance. Oh, and going back to the question mentioned at the beginning of the video, the answer is A. Percy's represents destruction and peace. This blaster isn't exactly a revolutionary, innovative pioneer. Rather, it's a hybrid of past successful features and new good ideas to create a freaking good toy. It's almost impossible to conserve ammo when firing is this fun and it makes 50 rounds feel like nothing. 
The overall user experience is hard to beat and I would go as far as to call the Percy's the perfect blaster, if not for these five problems. Problem 1. The lawnmower effect. To launch 8 rounds per second means having powerful motors means equally loud acceleration noise. This is by far my loudest blaster, it almost sounds like a lawnmower. Of course it's unavoidable considering the punch the Percy's pack, but it's my job to let you know about these annoyances. Try to avoid using this blaster when it's nap time for your cranky grandma. Problem 2. Pixie Dust Production I noticed that the Percy's tends to slightly shred the surfaces of rival rounds during firing, scattering little pieces of foam or what I like to call pixie dust on the ground. It won't render your rounds useless, but maybe very extensive use over time can start to cause slight damage to them. Problem 3. Reloading Reloading for the most part is straightforward and mindless, but you have to be more aware of how you're placing the rounds once the hopper starts to fill up. Since the access door opens up the entire top portion, while reloading it's easy to accidentally spill rounds if running or bending over to pick up rounds. A small access door like the Nemesis has is better at preventing these mishaps. Problem 4. Feeding Issues A design concern when it comes to hopper fed blasters is figuring out how to efficiently get ammo from the hopper, into the flywheels, and out of the blaster. A lot of the times, ammo gets stuck and isn't fed properly. That problem is still present in the Percy's, however, a good shake of the blaster will fix everything. It does affect your rate of fire since you have to treat it like a shake weight, but it isn't annoying enough to prevent you from having fun with the Percy's. Shout out to these people for answering the last food for thought. Answer this video's question using the hashtag and you might be featured in the next food for thought. Problem 5. Premium Price Whenever Nerf releases a flagship blaster, you know they're going to take a big swipe out of your wallet. This blaster retails for $100, the same price as the 2017 Rival Nemesis. I can vouch for this blaster's quality, but for almost all kids and teenagers, it comes down to whether they can afford the Percy's in the first place. Where I live, this blaster with tax cost $160 Canadian, but I was lucky to grab it when it was on sale for $98 total. With those savings, I am so glad I bought it, but I'm not quite sure if I still would have pulled the trigger if I had to cough up for the full price. Despite a few problems the Percy's has, it's still my favorite blaster in my arsenal. Whatever toy awards exist out there for this year, I think this blaster deserves one. In the future, I have great confidence that Nerf will find a way to make a better hopper or increase the rate of fire, but for now, the Percy's is the almost perfect Nerf blaster. Thanks for watching. To buy the Nerf Percy's or other blasters, I have affiliate links down below in the description. Check out the videos on the screen and subscribe for more Nerf content. Once again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.